to ask those questions. So, with your allowance, we are going to start. And the topic which is we are going to discuss is the therapy of the phantom pain in early and late recovery period after the mine explosive trauma. Mind blast trauma. We are going to invite speaker, senior neurologist, candidate of medical scientist, head of the Department of Physiology of Kyiv Medical University, medical director of Kyiv Rehabilitation Center. Which the speaker is here on the stage. Just final preparations. Please prepare your palms, and with huge pleasure, I'm going to invite Andrei Polomarchuk. Let's provide a applause, a round of applause for him. The coffee was not strong enough. But I think that with each minute it's going to get better and we're going to have more people in the audience. And let's have applause for our dear speakers. Deandre, please, I'm giving you the floor. Do you hear me right now? Yes, yes, you do. Perfect. Okay, I'm ready. So, first of all, thanks so much for this invitation and thanks so much for this opportunity to, to participate in this conference. And right now this first topic is going to be delivered. I was asked to have an English uh, presentation and to have the slides in English as well to present the work which we were doing. And maybe let's start. Let's start with uh, the first slide. Invitation to this conference. And my name is Andrew Polomarchuk, and uh, I am medical director of the uh, Institute of Rehabilitation here. Um, I have previously said for Ukrainian, this is my first presentation that totally like the um, yeah, to totally the practical physician, not like the scientist. And second one, this is my first presentation for the English in English in my uh, motherland. Uh, today, uh, this is material which I represent and which uh, with which I will share with you based on the, my personal knowledge until 2022nd year and clinical observation during 2022nd. And the, yeah, so from the beginning, uh, from May uh, 22nd, at the early medical rehabilitation stage, we face off with the wounded patients whose main diagnosis was the polytrauma. Uh, combat multiple injuries are more severe than civilian ones due to the differences at the adverse factors, traumatic circumstances, and medical aid timing number of injuries. And the, one of the important medical issue during complex medical rehabilitation wounded combat injuries is the phantom pain management. Phantom pain is defined as the localized in the removed body part region. Till now, this is till now this is insufficiently studied clinical phenomenon, which remains the subject of research due to the acute and chronic stage of this disease, disease nature, and actually the pain nature itself is not fully understood. And if you'll talk about the wounded combat injured persons, additional aggra uh, aggravating factors of degree of phantom pain are amputation site. The amputation site, the more anatomical structure will removed, probably severe and prolonged pain in future will be. Second one, the limb position in which injury occurs. For instance, if the limb was in an uh, unusual position during traumatic injury, injury such as um, strange or pinched, then most likely in the future, the strange and duration of phantom pain will be significant. Next one, the presence of the sharp nose, like chronic mechanical trauma factor during rehabilitation. Sharp nose moving out additionally injury, uh, injury in the soft tissue. Quality of surgical interventions. The better bone cutting, soft tissue suturing, and their healing was carried out. The better prognosis regarding the phantom pain, 
duration in the future. So, different input data complicated not only the treatment process, uh, but also the medical rehabilitation man management in general. Previously, I never get directly medical experience with the phantom pain management, but rehabilitative technologies that uh, I widely used in rehabilitation care, especially for post-stroke, historically came precisely from the management of phantom pain, uh, phantom limb pain. I was carried out for the mirror therapy, ergotherapy, creating protocols for sensory motor deviation rehabilitation in post-stroke patients. But when I faced off directly with the problem of phantom pain, my knowledge turned out to be in insufficient. Plus, into work time, I was limited in time care. Anyway, something need to did it for 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 the rehabilitation care. Now, my practical rehabilitation experience, phantom pain management, based on the 166 patients with the amputees within 16 work time months, for subjective assessment. We are widely used just the three subjective scales, the visual analog scale and verbal uh, rating scale. Additionally, in the, our team, we developed internally questionnaire for more detailed assessment of sensory disturbance. Uh, one question, just one more important question for differenti uh, differentiation, the pain with the another severe pain like the neuropathic pain, uh, residual limb pain and thalamic pain syndrome like in the one symptom allodynia, it's very, uh, very hard, very tough. It's uh, talk, uh, it took a, a huge time for differentiate with the combat injuries persons. Uh, for instance, for the neuropathic pain, uh, we hired scientific co-workers who help us. It's a very complicated topic, the neuropathic pain. Allodynia is a condition which the pain is caused by the stimulus does not normally elicit pain. Um, it was important to evaluate conductive or central organic or functional or uh, functional or organic pain uh, for prescribe the some rehabilitation proto protocol depend on the stage where just the patient arrived to the clinic. Um, so continue the stem for uh, differential. In most cases, in most cases, visual imaging, memorials, scratching, vibration with the dot, rinse up grabbing, thumb position, this whole one just the sensitive uh, implementations which are create the pain, quantum pain. This made indicate close connections with the limbic system and the brain thalamic region. But my most brightest clinical example when the watching of the Tom and Jerry movie caused the phantom pain stomp attack. Doesn't matter that it was the present uh, uh, prosthesis, uh, prosthesis on the limb or just the out of it. Uh, doesn't matter, it was gait or relax, only just the moving for this, uh, for, uh, for this uh, video, just the panically, panically uh, was caused just the phantom pain. My advice for the practitioners, doctors in future is to pay attention to investigate of the thalamic region in the presence of phantom pain syndrome. Because the thalamic region, thalamic region examination is important 
in order to determine whether there is a functional impairment or organic. Uh, especially, especially than the uh, concussion not diagnosed just organically in more cases. Thalamic region is major really station in the road of the brain cortex. And in practice, cognitive rehabilitation program should be used more widely for phantom pain treatment. Uh, here is also the example when for just the, when one patient could not undergo surgery um, during 15 months, and you see just the bone tissue growing up and the, some another residual pain, some another symptoms just disturb him. But phantom pain, okay, during this time is going like the waveform with increasing, decreasing. And when for increase the symptoms of the phantom pain, patient arrived to the clinic and we prescribe for the course two, five days, then um, almost decline this uh, feelings. Also, not only the change subjective, subjective pain feelings. Also, for instance, the change in and the objectively two days, three days, five days uh, during implementation physiotherapy, okay, the change, the some anatomical histological issues with the patient. And for right now, the trends in phantom pain management using rehabilitative technology, which we are uh, widely used in the clinic, okay, um, is the vibrotherapy, intermittent compression therapy, and vacuum therapy. The question is about the modulation. What kind of the modulation we use for the vibrative, vibration therapy and the intermittent compression therapy? I mean, not only to affect sensitivity must be present, but also to improve capillary blood flow and lymphatic drainage. Drainage. Okay. And uh, right now in the clinic, uh, we differentiate the three stage, three stage for the phantom pain main management. When the patient arrived for us until first months after surgery. When patient arrived the first and third months after the surgery, and more than three at six, I'm at till now, I couldn't say exact the border between just the three, between the six and more months for just the rehabilitative protocols. But here you see just the, how we added the sound procedure than to, uh, than to disappear the symptoms of the phantom pain. You see, for the, it's a, not, not bench patients arrived for us for the, uh, until the first months of the surgery, but when arrived, uh, just the physical uh, physiotherapy uh, was limited only by the sensitive. And it, we talk about the sensation, just the um, thermal sensation, we talk about the tactile sensation. We talk about just the vibro sensation, but again, depend on the modalities. The second one, you see just the bench of the patient arrived for us for the one to third months after the amputees. And the free physiotherapy implementation, like the vacuum therapy, intermittent compression, and vibro therapy, just uh, the present into rehabilitative protocols, of course. In the same time, in the same time, uh, patient get the uh, psychological therapy. Uh, we add physical therapy like the stretching, and we get uh, we prescribe the er ergotherapy implementation. For instance, uh, better for another, uh, just we are monitor uh, mirror, mirror therapy with the wide sight vision without, it means just the, the patients uh, collaborates with the, with the screen, okay, without any glasses, with the screen. And of course, 
uh, I covered the whole question about the medication, medications, uh, prescribed the sur uh, surgeon and prescribed the doctors who just uh, controlled this medication during just the period one, three months, for instance. Yeah, of course, the present, the uh, patients who, who just use the medication more widely, the six months or one year. And you see just the another, um, um, another procedure, more than six months, you see just you have the uh, huge modality, the many modalities for just the ergotherapy, for instance. And here is only mirror therapy, original mirror, mirror therapy added for, uh, for the protocol, which not provokes, uh, not provokes the phantom pain limb. Uh, have I told you the previously the, uh, the original protocol for uh, rehabilitation pain, for rehabilitation phantom pain, uh, just the added mirror therapy? transcutaneous electro nerve, uh, nerve stimulation and vibration. And whole of this one provokes phantom pain in the first period until third months. When we talk about vibration therapy, less than 40 hertz. If you prescribe the patient, the vibration around the 40 hertz and more, okay? you on the way to the uh, disappear the symptoms. And findings for the future phantom pain rehabilitation management, the mine opinion, then right now, uh, when a massive experience practical data based into Ukrainian rehabilitation clinic, it's necessary to involve scientists in the research cause the process of individual, individualizing program is very important, but not clear enough. The second one, research funding or financial, the practical implementation. Third one, at this time, implementation of physiotherapy devices in medical rehabilitation is complicated in this time, but the official negative position of Ministry of Health Ukraine in relation to the physiotherapy in general. But anyway, we need to go into rehabilitation. We need to go into rehabilitative. It's our duty every time. Thank you very much. Thanks. Дякуємо пане Андрію. І з вашого дозволу, якщо в кого от є питання, питання і відповідь хвилина, якщо це можливо, підніміться так, щоб наші помічники вас побачили, і будемо впевнено рухатися далі. Будь ласка. Thank you so much about your presentation, and I have one question. You said that about importance of thalamic region, and I understand that we need to perform MRI. And what kind of specific changes we need to find, and how it can change our tactic of treatment? Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much for the question. Uh, I mentioned about the cognitive rehabilitation. Uh, of course, uh, for my, uh, for my um, uh, psychological therapist, I ask one question during the diagnosis of the patients, uh, just gave me just the information about just emotional ability of these patients, very important. Then during rehabilitation, the patient have just the emotional ability, the first one. If just the patient have the, the more sedative, it's not good for just the phantom pain treatment. The first one, emotional feelings. The second one, um, the second one, the observation, the, the third pair, uh, the cranial nerve, oculomotorius, okay? Uh, we need to check the, uh, for instance, for nystagmus, the more, more patient got the nystagmus, the horizontal one, and prescribe this, uh, this, this um, ergotherapy movement for the third pair. Of course, many patients uh, decline then have the confusion in the previous day as they feel in, they have the headphones, no, 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 no problem with it. But, but 
uh, Tini detect the, um, the uh, uh, first of all, olfactory nerve, no one to detect it, and prescribe into the ergotherapy, ergotherapy, the training, the olfactory. And second one, the training of the eighth pair, the vestibular cochlearis nerve, this one. This is uh, the, the huge cognitive rehabilitation issue, okay? And in our small clinic, okay, we have just the, only just the vestibular cochlearis, only just the smell detection, smell ergotherapy, just the uh, implementation, okay? And emotional, and emotion. This means just the, uh, for him, must to, for the special talking with the patient every time to, to get just the, some questions, okay? And get like this conversation with the emotional conversation, which helped to us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Дякуємо велике. Андрій Паламарчук, облески вам. Дякуємо велике. Спасибі. Друзі, перепрошую, можливо, в кого будуть ще запитання. Я впевнений, що можемо в гарній, невимушеній також атмосфері поспілкуватися з паном Андрієм і отримати відповіді на них. На жаль, за браком часу ми повинні рухатися далі і спробувати все-таки наздогнати наш розклад, графік і працювати стосовно таймінгу. Дякуємо, пане Андрію. Дякуємо, пане Андрію.